Hi, this is Aaron at thinkbotlabs.com and welcome back. Today we're going to start working on setting up our environment for our FPS survival game. Jumping right in, we need an environment for our players to move around in. I came across this very cool free asset pack in the Unity Asset Store called Warzone Environment Pack, which we'll be using. So let's go find it. In the asset store, let's search for it. And it's going to be this one right here. And this is the same uh, environment pack that you saw in the introduction video. It comes with rocket turrets, vehicles, helicopters, buildings, radars, walls, a helicopter platform, crystals, trains, and rocks. So let's go ahead and download and import that. And also note that all of the content that we'll be using in this series will either be free or something that we create. So don't worry about having to buy anything. All right, now that it's downloaded, let's go back to our scene. And it gave us a folder called Warzone. Let's go inside of it. And then there's a Scenes folder. Let's go inside of it. And this pre-scene, this is the demo that comes with the assets. We can have a look at it. So everything is pretty nice. The only thing that I don't like about this asset is the terrain. Um, it's not a very high quality, but it does have a really nice skybox and the assets are going to work out really well for us. So let's go ahead and under assets, let's create a new folder called scenes and let's create a new scene and save that scene in the new scenes folder and just call this main. At this point some of you are thinking, dude that looks so cool I don't want to have to start over. But trust me, you'll like where this is headed. Let's create an empty game object called environment. And on its transform, let's go ahead and reset it so that it's all zeroed out. And then inside the environment, let's create a new 3D object, terrain. If you haven't worked with trains very much, I'll add a link in the description for some of the training material provided by Unity. But they're pretty straightforward. Starting at the far right with a cogwheel, this is all the settings for the terrain. What we're really concerned about is the resolution here at the bottom, the terrain width, length and height. So 500 is going to be a little bit small for us. We want something a little bit larger for our guys to be able to roam around and explore on. So we're going to set that to 2000 by 2000 and we're going to leave the height at 600. Going back up from right to left we have the paint details. These are different brushes that we can use to paint on our terrain and this is where we can paint trees on our terrain we can paint textures and inside of the textures this is where we add grasses, rocks, cliff textures, all the different textures that you'll be using to paint your terrain. You can smooth the height of the terrain, you can raise and lower the terrain, but what we're going to do we're going to go back to the asset store and search and download another asset called the terrain toolkit 2017. And this one right here. Now this is one of my favorite assets that I use when I'm building terrain. The terrain toolkit has been around for a long time and has recently been brought back to life to work with newer versions of Unity as well as adding a few new features. We're going to use it to quickly create some interesting terrains to roam around on. Let's go ahead and import it. Okay now that it's imported let's go back to our scene and select our environment and then our terrain. Let's come up a little bit so we can see what we're doing. So on our terrain, we're going to add a new component and that component is called the Terrain Toolkit. Now the Terrain Toolkit comes with a lot of different options to carve out your terrain. You can create peaks and valleys. It has different algorithms for Roni, Fractal, Perlin, Smooth, and normalizing your terrain. You can also erode it via thermal, hydraulic, tidal, and wind. And then you can add your different textures to it. And then the last one right here is the options. The options has a button to reset your train. So if you get it all out of whack and you just want to start over, just go to this button and reset your train. But we're gonna what we're going to focus on today is the button called Terrain Models. 
What they've done here is add some pre canned algorithms to carve out some trains. Those trains being a desert mesa, desert sands, a seashore, snowy mountains, pampa, and then a path of flesh. When I'm thinking about our train for our survival game, I'm thinking of an alien planet, like a Mars colony, something like that. The one that stands out to me the most is this seashore. Now we don't necessarily have to have water in a seashore. We can have it where the water has been, you know, vaporized over the millennia. So let's go ahead and click it. And as soon as we click it, it's going to start generating a model and applying all of those different effects that we saw in the toolkit tab. Now you're more than welcome to play with anything in the toolkit tab and create your own texture or work off one of these train models. The nice thing about these train models is once you've selected something and it shows you what it has done, let's zoom up a little bit and then we'll look around. All right, so on this one, we just got one big hill on the side and a couple little mountains on the side. It's not something that I particularly like, so I'm going to again click on the seashore and then it's going to overwrite everything that it just did with a new um, model applying those algorithms. All right, so this one turned out pretty good. And note that whatever you're generating will look nothing like what I have or your friends have. This is going to be a, a totally random generated terrain, which I think is awesome. So another thing I like about the um, seashore is that it also comes with five different textures. So if you scroll up and go back into the settings on the terrain, and then let's go to the paintbrush right here. You can see that it's added these five different textures. Let's zoom in a little bit. These textures are applied based on the height of the map. So you can see at the very top, we have some grass, and then it gradually goes down all the way into the base. That's a cool little peak it created right here. Let's go ahead and look at that. I think this map is gonna work out well. That's all I'm going to cover today on using the Terrain Toolkit. This will get you started on creating your own unique terrain for your FPS survival game. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Till then.